Hey guys, how you doing? We're doing a game Fabiano Caruana versus Mama Zara Shock. He this was the third game in the St. Louis Blitz and Rap a Rapid and Blitz 2018, just recently. It was a really good game. You're gonna love it. So let's start right on into it. Alrighty. E5, 9 of 3, knight C6, the Roy Lupes, A6, A4, and now they're going to the potential. Not the, It's not the closed Roy Lopez. The closed Roy Lopez would be down here and then now they can bring the bishop out and you have d6 and your other knight comes out and it's really a cool game cool opening let me get a drink no righty then let's start back okay castles castles 93 94 d5 <clears throat> of course you see if takes right what happens I'm sorry you lose a piece that's right the piece falls As now now you're going for for takedown if that wham if that wham if that and then see you later alligator we got your you got your night bye bye So I can't take, cause it'd be over but the crying. D5. So he takes. We D take C uh, E5. Bishop C6 or E6. Knight D2. Uh, and then uh, C3. This allows for the bishop potentially to come back. I'm surprised Shock did not uh, play uh, Knight takes B3 though. I think he didn't want to weaken this here. But actually, I guess he could take there, couldn't he, and then threaten to fork. So he really can't take. This retreats the bishop back. D5, D4. Pawn D4. Knight b3, d3, and b and this is the this is the pawn that kind of gets to be a pain in the neck for Fabi, the d pawn. Knight takes b6, b3, a takes b3, and then bishop to f5. To keep an eye on this pawn here, b4, to lock down the position. H h3. For a, for a flight square for the king, and then bishop to f uh, f4. Now, now we're almost all developed, and potentially we have bishop a2, painting the pawn, and we can always reroute the knight. We bring the queen up here, and boom, baby, we love in it. Yeah. Uh, rook uh, f d8, g4. Bishop G6, Bishop G3, H5, and then Knight BD2. Now, now the pawn is uh, blockaded. It's not going anywhere. We could bring our. Uh, it also allows for if takes, which was played, takes. Knight takes B, and then Knight takes, and this is what Shaq played. It was an idea, it was a peace sacrifice to get the um, C pawn going so that potentially C4 would be uh, playable. And then he has this mega pawn chain. Bishop, and then C5. E, F takes E. This this move kind of uh, fractured the king's structure. It made it so that there's a pin here, here, and in there. There's a lot of it attack now. C4. 
95. There we go. It's starting to come in. King of G. This right here was a slight inaccuracy. What they're saying is potentially rook to h1. Uh, and if the rooks double, you have queen to f1, or f3. The pawns push. You can actually play, let me see here, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to think. Oh, rook takes check. You can take here. And if the queen takes, you play rook check. Over. Maybe I'm missing something. There, there was something to do with, uh, maybe it's rook. Maybe it's knight takes, then bishop takes, then queen there. Then if you push. I'm trying to see now. I don't think I'm not sure if that this is that's the right move. Hmm. Let's see what the computer says. Probably rook h1 is what's good. Yeah. Rook h1. Okay. So the okay the bishop there. Okay, knight takes. Queen takes. Bishop takes. Rook takes. Queen. Okay, now we're getting closer to a uh, draw. That. Okay, now we're getting. Now we're there. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to make sure we were right on. They're saying that this would actually. Um, <clears throat> that this would actually arise if. Um, takes takes bishop there and potentially something like like this and then a rook over actually I'm sorry they're saying even before this that uh, bishop that's right bishop c2 you'd have a uh, peace uh, sacrifice which is actually not the best move Because now, if he takes, takes, he really he's uh, he has a two bishops for a rook and a pawn, so the queen would m maybe have to go there to infiltrate down, then the bishop would come, and it's something like this. Piece, and he actually sacrifices a piece back and so now Fabi's up material again and here it's a um, clear win because bishop first you take there king takes and then you bring your bishop to c3 c3 guards here and it stops all the pawns from advancing. The king goes to e7, and if he, if it was your turn, my friends, what would you play here? What would what would you play? You are white. Think. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute to think about it. You make the decision. I'll throw you out some options. Rook takes, uh, rook takes d2. That's one. Bishop takes d2. Or king f2. So rook, ta rook takes uh, d2. Or bishop takes d2. Or king f2. You make the decision. Which one of those three moves are you going to play? Rook takes d2. Bishop takes d2. 
our king to f2. Think principle. I'll give you guys one minute to choose. Now, if, if you're watching this on YouTube or pre-recorded on Twitch, stop right now. Make your decision. Okay, and now we will continue on, but stop and make your decision. Okay. King to F2, more principled. I'd be tempted to have taken here. Rotes, pawn, taste, but then you allow the king to come in. And potentially the king can get here and get these three pawns versus this one. And that's, you have to think principle. Think principle. So king. Now rook takes. Now we're one play square closer. King takes, bishop takes, d6. Bishop check. King goes to d5. And now we enter in. Fabi thought for a while and then played bishop to d2 with the idea he knows this is going to basically happen here 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 and then here and at the right moment he's going to go bishop to c1 and so that he could sacrifice his bishop for a pawn so he can, his, his whole goal is to get this pawn off the board and play uh, f5 trade and then queen with this one up the board What the heck? Ah, get out of here. Takes. Now all he's got to do is stay in contact with, uh, with this pawn. F. Six, and at this point he resigned. So, the whole idea is, if this is playable, right? Takes, takes. And then if it's here, then you play that and you stop the pawn from marching up the board. <clears throat> so this was played, and Fabi won. Hurrah, congrats, Fabi. I tried to get the other, this is game three. I tried to get the other two games, but I, it's not posted yet. But I was able to, I found game three, which in my opinion was the best one to end on. So he's 3-0. and Are we surprised? It's fa fabulous Fabiano. Alrighty. I'm on. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. My uh, screen every once in a while does this. It's like not responding. You have to give it a second. Uh, why? Why? There we go. Come on. Work with me. Work with me, work with me. Hold on, let me uh let me pull out of this right here. Let me pull out of this. I wish I could just just go down for that. Okay, thank you for your patience, guys. This is just a pain in the drain sometimes. Okay. Let's do a casual 10 minute. There we go.
my idea is if he takes here, I'm going to take, and then I'm going to play knight to f6 and in. Hey, how you doing? Rook to uh, e2 is an idea that I was looking at. Good, I got to watch Fabiano play. It's never a bad day with that.
Oh, shoot, you're right there. Drat, I missed that. See here.
He's a mutual zoo swamp. I mean, whoever the move is to lose, it's his move. Boom. Gotta love that. It's what you talk about calculation that you're exactly right. Back here, where was that? Ah, not there. Come here. Hold on. Oops. Hold on guys, right, where did I get my pawn moves? Right here, when he played here, this wins on the spot, because he moves over, you take. And then what you do is you come in, if he comes, then what you do is you come, yeah. And then we start going up the board. Okay, move 20. Okay. I lose my uh, queen, I lose my rook after that. So you had, you kind of had to do this, this is like forced. So there. And that's that's the winning move right here. That's the winning move. The this move here, the uh, H4 was a blunder. It's actually the double question mark move. I was like, yes. And then I went boom. And then I went there. And then you move your king in. You start up the board. Oh, 
should have played there. That would have stopped everything. I gotta remember to do that if he makes a mistake like that. Okay. Meet ten. If he turns into a knight, this is kind of what I was thinking about the knight move. If he comes over and he comes up, then you have check, check, and then checkmate. That, something like that. Okay. We'll go over some of our tactics now. Or if you guys have games you want to go over, we could do that too. Shows you the power of end game studies. You gotta do it. You gotta do your end game. It's either won or lost there. slow today but yeah we did a game on Fabi did you see the St. Louis um, blitz and rapid today Fabi did great he dominated he, he uh, did uh, he was fabulous Fabiano as Jennifer uh, Shahidi would say or Shahadi. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Jennifer. So that that was cool. He he went three and zero. Oh. So he's he's on. He's on it. We have to stay that type of focused, like laser-like focus in the cartoons when those guys have like Superman has eyes of laser and then the laser guy with the visor we have to have that type of determination when we play and that's what Fabi has I think uh, simulated into his play now he's got that laser like determination for victory and that's what we need okay so oops so cons black I gotta, f I gotta turn the board so that we can play it from Khan's side. Oh, I did the Nimzo. Yeah, Fabi won with two blacks and he finished uh, Shaq off with a white. It was an incredible game. Castles, castles, castles. Bishop takes, pawn takes. So now, now if you want to take scope slightly at this position, White has a, uh, there's an imbalance. Uh, White has the two bishop here, um, but he also has a Achilles heel on here. His uh, C3 pawn is his Achilles heel. So he does, he does have the dark squared bishop. So what White's going to want to do, or Black's going to want to do, is try to lock down the black, uh, dark squares with like d4, I mean d6, e4, 5, uh, f4, and then g3, and then h2. So get these dark squares locked down with pawns. Right, e4. There we go. Or maybe lock down the light squares. You could do that too. Either one works. One takes. It takes. And then H. 
So if he trades here, we can take back with our rook. Nice. So he's putting the pawns, if you guys notice, he's putting the pawns on dark squares. You see that? He's got almost all of his pawns on dark squares. That's kind of what he wants to do. He wants to dominate the dark squares with his pawns and keep the light squares open for his bishop. That's kind of Black's idea. Uh, if you're kind of, if you're playing against the two bishops like this, that's what you kind of want to do. You want to put the, your pawns on the uh, same color as the good the bishop that they have, because you're wanting to not let the dark square bishop have any play in the game. So uh, rook to e1, f1. Well, see, he not the one thing that Khan knows. See, it's not that he just it's not that he pulls it off. <laughs> that's that's one thing that um, a lot of players forget is he knows the principles. See, Khan understands that he knows that White has the dark square bishop. So whoever taught him says, "Hey, you know, it flashed in his mind like a you know fla flash black flash back in his mind he goes ah I know what to do if 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 my opponent has dark square and I only have a light square I'll put my pawns on dark squares which makes my bish light square bishop more powerful and it stunts white's dark square bishop so he's playing principle if that's con plays a, as print as a principal player which is really good so we should take uh you know, note on that that his play is very principal. I've noticed that he doesn't well, he doesn't lash out uh, irrationally with um, uh, kind of odd moves. He wouldn't just lash a pawn out. He makes sure that his position's solid before he does that. Like what you said, Fox, that Khan plays solidly. takes takes see how he kept the he didn't fracture and leave this open he took the, towards what this one pawn did is it stunts these two square uh, two pawns the C pawn Yeah, pretty good. That was. I can't wait till they come out with uh, the games for the database. I I was only able to find one. I wanted to see the rest of them, but they haven't posted them yet. Okay, because I checked um, chess.com games or uh, if you type in like Fobby and you put Fobby's games, uh, the chess game database thing comes up and it shows the game recent games that they played. So I don't know what happened, but I think the founder of that. Um, site passed I believe they were I think they had that on um, chess.com they talked about it and I don't know who's taking control of it right now but they gotta keep up they have to have uh, either more help because I think more games are being played they have to keep up with the games because people really rely on that site for learning Oh, St. Uh, Louis Blitz and Rapid, uh, uh, the St. Louis Blitz and Rapid. No. 
it's the it just it just got played today, and I don't know if it's gotten posted. Yeah, so I I I ch I, I scoured the internet for it. I couldn't find it, so but I did find one on chess uh, chess base. They did have a uh, they did have one. It was the one between uh, Shaq and um, Fabi. It was the third game, so they did have one. That's the one we went over, but they didn't have um, they didn't have all three of them. I was surprised because they usually they usually keep up on that pretty regularly, but. Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes things come up, and maybe the person who put it in will do it. You know, maybe later tonight, or or in the morning, wherever um, wherever you guys are. E four, E five. Okay, nine of three. It's, yeah, he's playing solid. I'm I'm liking this. I like how uh, Khan got the bishop off the board. Now it's down to one bishop and two knights. I he did he did really good. He he really acquired a huge advantage by that. The two bishops would have been devastating in this position here because it's it's slightly becoming more open. So rook to e2. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We we got we got some love happening there. Yeah. Yes. 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 You gotta love that. Okay. So he moved because he wants to be able to push, and he doesn't want the knight huh, jumping in here. <clears throat> this kind of gets out of any uh, potential forking ideas with the knight. And in it comes, and as well, what this also does is relieve a spot for this knight. So you always gotta think: what is my uh, grandmaster player playing, or my player? What what are they going to play? And it's like, huh, why did he move his king over? Duh! He wants to be able to implant the knight to uh, g8 if need be to guard uh, h6. Uh, So the bishop came, and now the knight's coming in. If the bishop took, which is more likely what it's going to do, and actually, in my opinion, this helps black out tremendously. This uh, now, and I believe that black's winning here. That's that, that's just my opinion, because he has more domination with his his rooks are doubled. Yes, his queen. He's also threatening uh, the knight, so there's there's a lot uh, going uh, going down the pike right now. So now White's like, I better double up too, otherwise I'm gonna get outplayed. And so he brings now now this pawn is <clears throat> gonna. This is a little scary for White. So he's attacking the queen. The rook comes up. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking uh, queen takes pawn here, if it was me, and then queen takes rook takes and kind of like infiltration there. He can't come down here. If he goes up there, so be it. We just we just bring our rook up if he takes. Now we got we got we accomplished a huge goal. Double rooks. You gotta love that. So I don't know if that was uh, enough play in my opinion. Check. Not bad. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm wondering if this can't be played here. And if he plays there. I'm 
my bad. That, that he can't play that there. My bad. He can't do that. So in this line, I think it's one for. Okay, it is a draw. Wow. Snakies. That was a that was a mistake. Wow. Big time blunder. Let's see. Let's guys. Let's see, what would be the move do you think would, would be a, a good move here for black? Don't look at the don't look at the side of the thing. Make your best choice. That's actually correct, by the way. Cause I looked at that too and this is like there's really no way to stop C and then night, yeah, because you have infiltration. Nice. Do you have any questions on, uh, on this game? We'll have to rookie two, hold on. Where did I miss? I think I think it's I think he still could play that and win. <clears throat> I'm thinking that he's gonna have to potentially play his king up. Well, Sorry, mate and one. Missed that mate and one. Yeah. My bad there. <laughs> uh, do you have any other questions before we go into our puzzles? Kingy two. What's the line after? Okay. And then remember what we talked? We infiltrate into um, H. And he's got to take because he, if he does it, it's mate. So we take back with the pawn, king takes, and then queen grabs the pawn. <clears throat> and we're up uh, past two past pawns. So the knight would have to come in, and then now we're we basically got a hold there, and he pushes. And then he pushes. 
pushes. And right, oops, not that. Duh, come on. You have to take, and then boom, there you go. Okay. Now we'll get started into the puzzles. Okay, I'll be right back. You guys take a look at this. Wow, a tactic on move 10. Who'd have thunk, huh? We'll be right back. Okay, so so we're thinking uh So if we take D takes yeah he he could actually take with the queen. I think that is right. Because you have to um, have to cause the theory of two weaknesses, like my uh, teacher taught me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a strong move. Because what will happen is if he goes, uh, yeah, he'll just go back. Now you just take. I believe so. Let's see. Is there any drawbacks to the take? D takes C6. I didn't see any drawbacks to that one. 
We'll give it a like. doesn't want us to do that. doesn't like us to give it a like. Oh, interesting. So, bishop takes... <clears throat> so, we're attacking the bishops, and so he sacrifices itself on g2. And you see, if we take here, he'll bring his queen right there to g4. We have to retreat back to h1. And then he's got knight to g h4. And I don't know. Do we have, a, do we have enough compensation for that? Do we have to give the piece back? Well, if, if Chinese econ I mean, if economy was here, he uh, economy would say, always take the material. I don't remember him saying that. Oh, economy is here. Cool. Economy would say, take yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Because I, I always I always think of, of you with when this when there's moves like this I always think of take the material so that's kind of first that does I uh, what do you, I, I yeah that does work if you think about it what do you think economy I I believe first bishop. Uh, I'm with Fox on Bishop F5 too. I'm on Fox. What do you guys think with Fox on that? Because then what happens is the queen has to move. The queen moves. Sorry. Come on. Oops, wrong one. The queen moves and then we take. There we go. What do you think? I'm I'm with it. Let's do it. Boom. Well, this takes if if he goes like you're saying uh, bonkers and does that, we just take first here, and then he's gonna have to move, and then we just we grab that piece, and it's like gobble gobble gobble, yummy. You don't want to come here because he has a check, so you got to get away from that. And if he takes here, we take, we're up still a lot, loads of material. I like that one. That one's a cool one. We'll give that a... Huh. Won't allow me to do it. Okay. Sometimes uh, I get a I get an itch, and sometimes it just bugs me.
takes is hmm. That is more forcing. This this what this is a good idea too, but the only problem is it uh, does bring a protectorate. So if we did this, he, he could take here. We can check. We just lose too much material. This uh, this forex also the queen and the rook. So I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, and then we we just grab that. Because if he takes here, we do that. And then, it, and then when the knight takes, the rook takes, and the knight intercepts. And then we're good to go. Boom, yeah. Yeah, otherwise we'd lose a two p. we'd lose a rook, a knight, and a bishop. Yeah. Yeah, rook, knight, and bishop. That's more than enough, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, back here. Let, we'll go over that line because I know I know you guys are wondering what we're talking about. Just hold on, real quick. We're talking about if you guys were thinking uh, here, he could play there. Yeah, we we have this. We still we still win the queen, but. The problem is he has adequate material. He has enough material. He has, let's see, 12 pawns. No, let's see, 11 pawns for a 9 pawn piece. So he has more than enough compensation for the the queen, uh, the, the three pieces at this point. So I just wanted to let you guys know if that, this is what we were talking about. Alrighty, Rue. Good. I like um, peach tea. That was that's really some really good peach tea. I'm liking potentially uh, queen to f6. Are we almost trapping? I might be bad. My bad. I think we almost have the queen trapped. We're close to trapping the queen here. Yeah, that is that is a good see here, here, and then there. Oops.
Well, then you have knight to, uh, if you, if we did bishop, like what you're saying, economy, queen here, d5, we have actually, uh, knight to e, uh, e5, and now we're threatening the queen infiltration here. And also we're threatening to take there as well, which is, which is pretty, uh, powerful. Or we could even play there. No, that wouldn't work. Hmm. Oh, true. So if he plays D, that's right. Nice find. Good job, Fox. Uh, knight to B6 uh, six was actually correct here. Good job. And then we we pluck off the bishop like a chicken. We pluck it. Pluck, pluck, pluck. There we go. I'm lacking that. That was a fun one. We'll give that a like. Good job, good find, guys. Exactly, good work. Yeah, I always use that. I always use that term as kind of a, a little humor. I think it's funny. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, hmm. We're almost, he's almost trapped our queen. So how do we wanna wanna do this? I'm thinking maybe we play rook takes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Rook takes here. Knight takes. Rook uh, f to c1. Rook, the rook from f1 goes to c1. If this rook comes over. Oops, sorry, wrong, wrong things. Takes, takes. This rook comes over. If this rook comes there, then we can actually drop our uh, knight into e6. We either well, there's either this move here, which I think that's too passive, or or we can uh, play here. Those two moves, in my opinion, are the most active uh, moves in the line. What do you think, economy? Should we take the material? There we go. Let's 
do it. If night takes, this rook slides over. And then this rook has to this rook has to come over. And then bam, there we go. And when the when the queen moves back, bam, there we go. Bam, bam, and now we're up uh two minor pieces for a rook. Let's see. You want to see what the lions say. Rook, rook, so, so rook, rook takes. Um, knight takes. Gotcha. Rook c1. Gotcha. Rook c8. Knight takes e, and then queen d8. Uh, it, it, queen d8. Oh, well we could try that, but I, I don't. I think the, I think the queen has to move anyways, and then. He loses a rook here, I, I believe. So he's gonna he's gonna actually lose a rook. And now everything is about starting to fall apart on him. Because if he if he plays here, then we have we actually move our bishop in, and now everything's under fire. Oh man, I don't know what it is. I got allergies, guys. Sorry about that. Oh. It's irritation. Okay. Do you guys have any questions on this? Because it will, I'll, we're gonna probably leave it here because this is a perfect. This is perfect because uh, this this has this is my last one that we can do here. Yeah, forks the king. That's that's the cool thing. So that if he takes takes, if he plays there, bishop, and if the queen comes up, we can play takes 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 and. We're at the very end. We're up a whole bishop in that line. Do you guys have any other lines? Before, uh, before I log off. Do you have any other lines after after this? Do you want to check anything else out? Okay. You guys good? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, th I thank you for uh, logging on, spending your time. Remember, you know what? We got to see one game of the fabulous Fabiano. Uh, but you know what? We have to remember that we have to have that type of focus in our play. We have to know, and we have to apply. We have to be willing, and we have to do. That's the thing. We also have to be able to, you know, actually, as they say, live and let go, but, but actually live and learn. Learn from your mistakes so you're not doomed to repeat them. You know what? We have to keep pushing forward. That's the whole thing. You know what? Like Fabi said, and, we, and I talked a couple days ago about that, every chess game is a new chess game. Don't bring the old one in with you. It's all new. The same pieces, new board. Actually, new pieces, new board. Are, you guys know what I mean. So, we, and uh, remember, we are studying to show ourselves to be approved on the chessboard. And we also have to teach our hands to fight, and our, our, no, our, our hands to war and our fingers to fight. We have to do that as well. Okay, and I'll leave you guys with those thoughts. And tomorrow, um, Saint, the St. Louis Blitz and Rapid will continue. So if you guys want to watch, it's going to be on. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave you with that. It's Wesley Sosas through the Lord Jesus. And as I say, God bless. And I'll see you guys next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, evening, guys. And uh, Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow. And hopefully they'll have some... Uh, of the Fabiano games on the chess 
database things so I can bring some of them over and we'll go over them hopefully uh, but if not we're, we'll I'll find at least I'll try to find one okay I'll do my best okay and we're going to continue to pick up with our London system too we can't forget that okay guys be blessed and I'll see you guys tomorrow have a, a you know keep studying good job all grains today hurrah bye bye guys